Portal first splice. <coughs> Portal 64 first slice is now in beta. Beta. Beta, beta, beta. Portal 64 first slice is now in beta. With that, I have finished four more test chambers, which include a lot of iconic moments from the game. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Including getting the complete portal gun. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. I've also had a lot of help from West Encoder in fixing some bugs, as well as adding some polish to the game. Weston just started opening pull requests to the project and added things like animation to the portal gun. He added a lot of sounds which make the game feel more like portal. He also finished up the HUD so now it indicates if you can open a portal, which portal was last to be open, and which of the two portals are currently open. I'm very grateful for these contributions so huge shout out to Weston. So now that I have Portal First Slice done, which is the first 13 test chambers, I plan on spending some time polishing up these first 13 test chambers so it feels like a finished game before I move on and make any more test chambers. A lot of this polish is going to be adding details that are missing in test chambers, finishing up the menus, adding a control settings page. I also want to add some vertex lighting to add a little more variety to the levels so everything doesn't just look flat. And now that Portal First Slice is in beta, I'm going to spend more time looking at the bug reports and fixing those. So playtesting will be very helpful here. If you find bugs, report them on the GitHub page and uh, be sure to include lots of details. You know, include steps of how the bugs are reproduced, what exactly is the bug, and which version of the game you're running, if you're running on an emulator or hardware. I will be prioritizing bugs on hardware, so if you have an EverDrive, it'd be really helpful if you wanted to play test and find some of these bugs. And lastly, I'm not gonna be publishing ROMs anymore. Instead, I'm gonna be publishing ROM patches, but there is no ROM to patch originally, so instead, I'm just gonna grab some file from the PC game. So if you have Portal on PC, I'll let you know which file you need to use with the patch to generate the ROM. This will hopefully make Valve less likely to shut the project down. Ideally, I'd be distributing the game as a mod for Portal, but I couldn't find a good way to create a mod that really isn't a mod, but just a file. So if I can figure that out, I'll transition to Steam as a mod, but for now, the ROM patch system will work. And that's all for this update. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.